Hello guys, this is a video on how to find out the center of mass of a non-uniform semi-circular ring or a wire. So the scenario is drawn here. It says the linear mass density varies as lambda is equal to lambda naught sin alpha where alpha is the angle made with the horizontal. So like I have, uh, uh, how I have chosen in the last video, same way I will choose linear mass density dm by dx then dm is lambda dx. So dm is lambda in dx is again r d theta from this sector. So r d theta. And we also have the coordinates of any point on the circle lying would be x is r cos theta and y is r sin theta. So since it is a non-uniform semicircular ring or wire, we don't know for sure where the center of mass lies. It can be on y or it can be on x or it can be anywhere here. So we need to evaluate both the integrals of uh, coordinate of center of mass over x, which is integral x dm over integral dm so you know we do the integration downstairs also when the, it is non-uniform so this is how we do and uh, y cm is integral y dm over integral dm now so i have dm is lambda which is lambda naught sine alpha so lambda naught since i have chosen angle theta it would be lambda naught sine theta into r into d theta so the limits of theta is from 0 to pi so in my next step i'm going to write all those so integral x is r cos theta so it would be r cos theta and dm is lambda naught sin theta r d theta so this is lambda naught sin theta r d theta upon integral dm is again lambda naught sin theta r d theta so you can cancel lambda naught also you can cancel r so you have r outside here and r would be 0 to pi like I told you the limits are from 0 to pi so it would be 0 to pi r sin theta cos theta d theta upon integral 0 to pi sin theta d theta so this is r now the integration of sin theta d theta is uh, sin squared theta by 2 and the limits are from 0 to pi and integration of sin is minus cosine theta and the limits are from 0 to pi again so if you could look so clearly here this sin squared theta by 2 with limits pi by 2 to 0 is 0 because sin square pi by 2 is 0 by 2 minus sin 0 is 0 so the whole stuff becomes 0 which means there is no coordinate of center of mass along x or there is the, the coordinate of center of mass along x is 0 so which means center of mass lines on y axis only so let's evaluate this so this is 0 to pi now the value of y is r sin theta so r sin theta and dm is lambda naught sin theta r d theta lambda naught sin theta r d theta by integral dm is again lambda naught sin theta r d theta it is 0 to pi again so again lambda naught gets cancelled and also r gets cancelled since they are constants so we have r 0 to pi integration of sin square theta d theta and here in downstairs we have 0 to pi sin theta so 0 to pi sin theta into d theta so this is r now we need to do the integration of 0 to pi i want to write sin square theta as 1 minus cos 2 theta d theta by 2 so 2 comes here 
and this is 0 to pi sin theta d theta so let's solve it for the integration uh, now integration of 1 is theta minus integration of cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta by 2 and the limits are from 0 to pi and this is integration of sin theta is minus cosine theta and the limits are from 0 to pi again so this is r by 2 into if you substitute theta as pi the upper limit is pi minus sin 2 pi which is 0 and again theta is 0 and 0 so there are no values again here so this is minus cos pi minus of minus plus cos 0 degrees so this is like r by 2 into pi divided by 2 so the final answer is pi r by 4 which means you have which is y c m and x c m is 0 so therefore the coordinates of center of mass are 0 comma pi r by 4 which says center of mass lies at a height of pi r by 4 from the center so i hope you understand thanks for watching the video